It won't be long before the robots take over. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Google is known for its ambitious projects like Google Glass, self-driving cars, or finding ways to prolong life with Calico. But its latest mission isn't so far-fetched as curing death. Google is building a new generation of robots to replace human workers in factories. Google has acquired seven robotics companies recently to get a head start on this goal of becoming a new leader in manufacturing. And these robots are humanoid with arms and faces and some of them can walk. The head of this robotics project was previously in charge of Android. He called it a moonshot vision and it could take a decade to build out. So this week we learned that Amazon is working on flying drones and Google is building a fleet of humanoid robots. So I guess we won't have to wait too long for the machine uprising against mankind. If you're getting bored with today's smartphones and you think they're all starting to look alike, well, there's a new phone out that will make you do a double take with its double screens. The Yota phone is an Android phone made in Russia. It has a regular LCD screen on the front and there's an e-ink screen on the back. It's the same screen you see in e-readers like the Kindle. The point of having an e-ink screen on the back is that it helps your battery last for days. You don't have to keep turning on the screen to check the time or see if you missed any messages. It'll all just be displayed always on that e-ink side for a quick glance. You can put all sorts of things on that black and white screen. When you're low on battery, just save your directions on a map. Of course, you could do some reading and you can turn a selfie into an epic wallpaper for all to see. The Yoda phone is on sale now in Russia, Germany, Austria, and Spain. It's coming to the UK next year, but no word on the US. If it takes off, it certainly could bring some fresh concepts to the smartphone industry. Chromecast, the streaming media stick from Google that only costs $35, now has added gaming to the list of things it can do. Owners can play tic-tac-toe. All you need to do is download the game on an Android or iOS device and the Chromecast will stream it to the television. I know tic-tac-toe isn't going to wow anyone, but it is a start. Maybe other developers will build games that can work on the Chromecast. The HDMI stick also streams Netflix, YouTube, HBO Go, Hulu Plus, and Pandora. That's your tech news update, but you can find more details at cnet.com update and be sure to follow along on Twitter for the latest. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.